What's up guys, it's MJ Melendez with the Kansas City Royals and this is what's in my locker. So we'll start with the gloves, it's the easiest thing. This was my gamer from last year. Um, so went into Wilson in 22 when we were in Chicago and uh, the, the thought, the idea behind this was really, I don't really, actually don't really have a plan of kind of going in there, what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And for some reason I just thought about, oh, it'd be cool to make a glove that's like, looks like a thunderstorm is happening in it. So we did that, um, kind of made the purple, like dark clouds with the lightning bolts and all that stuff. It's a little bit, you know, I've, ha I've had uh, a lot of diving plays and all that stuff, which is kind of like, you know, torn apart a little bit, but still a beautiful glove. And one of my favorites. Was the Super Snakeskin your call or their call? I think it was there just because it's easier to put the, the, the lightning design, and that sure. stuff pattern on that yes. instead of on the leather. Mm -hmm. So we did that and then just I had this one right here. I just made this one this off season just because why not? I had a, a bunch of merch money still left with Wilson. So I was like, all right, let me make a pink glove so I can use for one game this season on Mother's Day. So mm. this is going to be the Mother's Day glove. Um, nothing too crazy. Just wanted to make a pink glove That's with a little hints of blue. So that would be kind of cool. That's and you got that like verse on there. Leaguer. Yeah, right, yeah. Day, you get a glove for one day. <laughs> exactly. Right, right. <laughs> and I just got my uh, favorite Bible verse on there, Matthew 5, 16. So we got that. We got a couple more. We got... Uh, oh, yeah. This one I just got like two days ago. Same thing. I made it uh, in the off season on the custom shop. And um, it was, I don't know, it was something cool. Purple, I see you stuck with. Purple, yeah, a little bit of hints of purple on the on the logo. Fire. And uh, obviously the baby blue, one of my favorite colors with the with the with the blonde. And, and no this, there. this one says uh, Merv Jr. So uh, my first name is Merville, and everybody here calls me Merv. Pretty much everybody like in baseball, the coach, all that <laughs> stuff, they call me Merv. And uh, it's my dad's name, so I put Junior. And uh, I thought that'd be. Something cool to put on my glove that I hadn't done before. Usually I kind of switch up what I put on the gloves. Uh, a lot of times I like to put my, my, uh, my Bible verses and some of my favorite Bible verses or stuff to kind of represent my faith. It's a big part of you know my life and uh, my game and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. same thing with this one, just another custom. Thought I'd kind of do a little bit of a brick red here just for fun. Uh, I really like this model a lot. So I've been using this this whole spring training. It's been coming in really well. and. I just have his glory on here. I said just represent my faith a little bit and uh, in the way that I play my game. I think that's what I have for the gloves for now. Let's see. We can go into some cleats. So many different brands. I have way too many cleats in here, so <laughs> I, I apologize for that. I'll, I'll just take one at a time. I won't take full pairs, but yes, sir. this is a, I saw Nike came out with these on their website, some, some molds. Um, on some Jordans and I was like man I need to get these these are these are sick so I got these uh, hopefully wear them I want to wear them on the road because I just feel like it's easier on the turf fields to wear the molds obviously it's a white cleat so with gray so eh, not a hundred percent sure but I do love these and we'll be wearing these at some point this year and I love brand Jordan so Hey, got it. Got to rock with them. Do you own the sneaker in that? Uh, At all? No, not that colorway sure. with, with the gold. Uh -huh. uh, I don't have that one. Um, I have some Concords which are like very yeah, similar, yeah. but sure. they're obviously a different uh, Jordan man. logo. Right. Um, we'll do uh, these Lindors that I actually wore once this spring, and I actually really love these. Shout out to Frankie Lindor. He's a man. Obviously played with him in the World Baseball Classic. Mm -hmm. One of the best teammates i ever played with. Amazing leader, great guy. And as you can tell, he's always smiling, always having a good time. That's why they call him Mr. Smile. So Facts. I absolutely love these. Definitely recommend these to really anybody. They're super comfortable, they're light, and the colors are fresh. Mm -hmm. So we got those there. Kind of going that same color pattern. I haven't worn these yet in metals. I have them in molds. Um, so this will kind of cover both that I've been wearing for practice, but these Nikes that came out, really cool colorway, very similar as the Lindors. Yeah, and, fresh. Uh, yeah, fresh. They came with a little scrubber thing, but I don't, <laughs> oh, know, where, I don't know where that went. That's dope. But uh, I did use it already to, to scrub up some cleats, but these are pretty sick. 
I just like the really the, the light colors of the white. I think looks really clean. It came in the box like a brush and a like yeah, a it spray. Came, it came uh, not a spray, but just okay. like a, with a little chain thing kind of yeah, attached yeah. to it on so. the laces. So that was pretty cool. Um, let's see. We got these that I wore the other day. Uh, just some white and you know the powder blue that we wear to smash the jerseys and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Pretty pretty basic Nike shoe and. Uh, then we got the grays and all that stuff, so we'll we'll leave those there. So would you, would you say the, uh, the Lindors feel the best out of this group, or would you? Would yeah, you? I, I I probably I yeah, I like them the best so far, honestly. They're very comfortable. They have style, of course, which is one of the most important things. But obviously, the comfort is extremely important as well. And uh, it's just be it's it gets good to be able to wear you know a shoe of a guy that you you look up to and. Mm. Uh, you know, obviously, he's been he's been doing this for a long time. He's had a lot of success, and uh, I feel like he just does things the right way on and off the field. And uh, I, I like to be able to, you know, represent that as well in, in my game. So definitely honored and privileged to wear these. And then we'll get into some batting gloves. Uh, I'm a lizard skin guy, so I always I have a ton of lizard skins. So I just brought two pairs. Um, I have a bunch of more colorways, but we'll go with with one of each of these. So we got some uh, basically City Connects, uh, one of two City Connects that I have. These are the ones with more of the baby blue on the top and, uh, and the navy on the inside and my nickname Merv uh, right there on the inside. And then the other pair is going to be very similar with all navy blue and, uh, and the baby blue logo. So those are pretty sick too. I've, uh, I, I wear those a little bit more when I play in the game, but these were just sitting there in the locker so I had to bring them out and then these are some road ones uh, when we wear gray I like to wear a uh, a baby blue arm sleeve mm. so I do have these with royal blue as well in gray but I wear these a little bit more just because I do wear the baby blue arm sleeve with our gray uniforms so it just it matches up a little bit better like I said the, the, the nickname on the inside yes all the details always so Shout out to Lizard Skin. They're amazing. They do great stuff. They always take care of me. We'll uh, shout out G-Form as well. They always take care of me. I've been with G-Form since pretty much, yeah, since the beginning of Pro Ball for me, so in 2017. They've always looked out for me. They've come a long way. They've evolved a lot. You know, when I first started wearing them, they were, you know, had the little, the, the, the arm sleeve that was a, uh, the protector that was an arm sleeve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. This is, this is different now yeah yeah so now now they have like the the straight elbow guard. yeah the straight elbow yeah. guard leg guard as well that i use and uh obviously favorite color right here the powder blue to go with the powder blue uniforms do and then you like this new style or did you prefer that oh no i love style? this i love this yeah that's definitely it's super comfortable really easy to use so uh that's probably that's probably my favorite one that they've made and then let's see okay i'll show you guys two more things so <laughs> this is funny, but this gum, this Orbit uh, Bubble Mint, is the gum that I use every single at bat. I've been using it every single at bat since uh, I want to say the end of 2019. Mm. Um, literally every single at bat. Like, there's not an at bat in the big leagues where I'm not chewing this gum. So I always stay very stacked on these. Um, I bulk order like 20 <laughs> to 40 packs at a time and uh, just keep them with me. Everywhere. ABs. You need a fresh yeah. every AB? No, yeah. Do you no. Keep it I mean, if, I, hey, if I'm going good, if I start the game with two hits or whatever, I'm probably keeping that same one for a little while. Yes, I do the same thing when, when I'm done with it. I throw it underneath the bench. I don't throw it out on the field or anything. So literally right underneath the bench it goes. They pile up down there. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so shout out to the, the Orbit Bubble Mint. Definitely, definitely a key part of the game, and felt like that'd be cool to kind of bring in today. And I'll show you guys a a couple pair of Oakleys. Yeah, uh, I have. Oh. I do have some yeah. on my head. Yes, so my little brother got me these for Christmas. I oh, love no. these. These are sick. So I've been wearing these this spring. Love them. Different model. I don't know what. what I think model the these encoder are. strike yeah, is the name of those. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see. That's yeah. our, that's our I, I have that's, the same pair. <laughs> all right, sweet. Yeah. No, so the, I love those. These are fresh. And then uh, I have a ton of Oakleys. I, I have a bunch in there, but uh -huh. we'll just stick with the ones that I use the most. They're a little dirty. 
Sorry about that. Okay. But I've worn these a lot in games uh, since I've been in the big leagues. Um, I guess this was like a limited edition frame back in the day. I wasn't really sure on that. I didn't, I didn't know back at the time, but I've had these for well, probably since low A, which was in 2018 for me. Mm. So love these. Um, the lenses are the uh, Jade Iridium, I want to say they're called. Do you bat with, uh, with them? I do. I love hitting with glasses. A lot of people are like very indifferent with it. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I love hitting with glasses. I feel like it helps me see better. It takes away the glare of the ball. Right. So that and then uh, these, uh, these black camo ones that are a little dirty that need to be cleaned. But uh, they have the red uh, baseball lenses. So those. Uh, so you notice the difference with that? Um, a little bit. I feel like I like to ch play with the glasses depending on the field that we're playing at and the different batter's eye and all that stuff. I feel like kind of, uh, you know, really will tell me like what I need to wear. So I'll wear them during BP and really see what I like to wear for the day game. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we're playing more night games than day games, but uh, kind of play with these during the day BP. And for that, usually it's on a Sunday. Um, kind of see what I want to wear for that Sunday. So, so is it kind of like, let's say, a darker batter's eye that you're going with one versus, like, the sun coming in? It's, uh, like, what do you think? It's really just depends on the, like, the feel. It's not like, oh, like, a darker one or a right, lighter right. one, whatever. It just really, like, depends on, like, the bag drop. Like, every field is different where the sun is coming from, where it's setting and all that stuff. So it really just depends. It's really just kind of a toss-up. But usually if I'm in doubt, I usually go with these. Gotcha. They, they look, they're, they're a little bit more standout-ish. <laughs> I've worn them more, and I, I like the way you know I see the ball with these. So these are probably the go-tos. Is there a piece of gear out there that you're like, dude, I would love to get my hands on that? Oh, like any piece of gear. Yeah, could be, you know, a glove, a cleat, a bat. That's a great question. Um, not anything specifically, but what I do like to do is um, every guy that I play with that has had a gold glove, I, I try to get one of the gold glove patches on them. So, so far I've played with Michael A. Taylor, got yes. one of his gloves, Salvi, of course, have one of his, and uh, Zach Greinke, I have one of his. And uh, the Greinke one was the hardest one to get. Um, he wouldn't even give one of his gloves to the MLB Hall of Fame. <laughs> and uh, yeah, from his last outing, and uh, I ended up getting one that same day from him. So. Uh -huh. That says a lot about him. Uh, I love that dude. He's amazing. One of, a, one of my favorite teammates I've ever played with. And uh, just a great guy. You know, obviously a lot of, you know, people, you know, have stuff about Grant. Oh, he's, you know, goofy or whatever. But sure. if you know him, he is really the best guy ever. And, you know, super great with advice. Learned a lot of the game from him. And, uh, yeah. As we catch him, you catch him? I did. I yeah. did. What was it like catching him? Uh, very surreal. Um, yeah. Obviously, I think he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, and uh, to be able to catch him my rookie year was insane. Uh, a little nerve wracking, but uh, he told you what was coming. <laughs> no, I was calling the games. You called the games. Yeah, I was calling the games. Uh, that was in 22, back before the pitchers were calling their yes. own games. Yeah. And uh, and I was calling him and. I remember uh, after his first outing, he was like really impressed, and that was for me one of the biggest compliments I could ever. Because that's what I, as a catcher, you know, growing up, I really uh, took pride in game calling, and to be able to do that for one of the greatest pitchers ever, uh, and for him to compliment me was uh, definitely a really special feeling for me. It's a great, great way to show up the diversity of baseball. What is your favorite home cooked meal? It's a fan question. Okay, um, so. My mom makes this fire uh, biste, which is like a uh, basically like a skirt steak with uh, white rice and red beans, mm -hmm. um, and that's like ab my absolute favorite. Uh, yeah, real thin. Very yeah, thin. Caramelized onions thin. on there. Exactly. I yeah, know, he knows. He yes, knows. sir. <laughs> so uh, you just like pull that picture and put that on there. But that's, <laughs> my mom makes that, and it's so fire. It's my favorite. I don't even try to make it. I tried like one time. Yeah. It wasn't the same, so it's never the same. I don't really <laughs> make it as much myself, but uh, it's probably my favorite home cooked meal.